Hello everybody, welcome to the Jarman Show where today we make a cardboard fortress for Meg, the cat. <laughs> asking what are you doing outside um, this is pretty much the answer I'm going to be spray painting some things um, so this is a cardboard box for a pump that my grandfather got for a pool over at their house um, but he is obviously he obviously doesn't have much use for the box like most people don't have uses for a box like this but anyway uh, that is what I am here for I'm going to be turning this into the fortress of Meg so I want to make a sort of, I was about to say stencil, but I'm going to print out little letters or something like that, maybe just write them on with a marker, and I'm going to call it um, Meg's Fortress or something like that, I'm not sure. But anyway, the first step is to spray paint it, so I've got a gloss black here, so I'm going to spray paint this whole, th whole entire thing down, and then we'll go and take a look at what it looks like after the fact, so let's go ahead and start spray painting. done for spray painting uh, so I am sort of what you could call a noob when it comes to spray painting so yeah you see me doing more of this than more of this with the back and forth motion but I don't care it looks amazing in my opinion as a non-professionalist but anyway there is the box I think it looks pretty good um, I'll try to grab a spot somewhere where I can grab it and you can see that I did in fact spray paint every side so you can see here on the other side as well, hopefully, if I can get this to turn around. So there's the other side of the box. You can see it's all nice and black without the weird cardboard color. And then I did also do the back. Try to spin that around for you. Uh, yep. Yeah. So there's the back of the box. You can see it is in fact all black. The only thing I did not spray paint was the bottom. So uh, I think I'll let this dry for a minute and then if I need to or if I notice anything I'll come back and do a second coat real quick. But anyway for now um, I, I say that after this is done drying this is ready to head into the room and we'll start decorating it and introduce Meg to the box. And there it is inside and we've got Meg right down there ready to test it out in a minute. But anyway here it is all spray painted and it has had a little bit of time to dry. Not completely cured yet, but I can't touch it completely, so it's fine. And Meg is freaking out for some reason. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is use this little knife, and I'm going to cut a hole in the side of it. Probably over there, because I do plan for it to go right here. Um, and then I'll patch all this up, and I'll tape this up. Uh, which, I probably should have thought of that, because then um, I'm going to have to probably tape it from the inside, so that there isn't... Um, tape on the outside where it's supposed to be black but anyway um, I'll figure that out in a minute but anyway let's go ahead and cut the hole in here for Meg as the door and then I renamed it to Fort Meg instead of uh, Meg's Fortress because Fort Meg sounds cooler and my mom named it so sticking with what my mom said so anyway let's go ahead and get this all done up with the door and then we'll um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the name but um, time lapse will include the name and the door so let's go ahead and start there the gluing of the of the edge right here so you can see it's all glued together I just used my new hot glue gun that my stepfather got me not too long ago so that's just sitting well it was sitting up here but I set it down quickly because I had to glue that all on but anyway I glued all this stuff up and then I also glued along the top and a little bit on the bottom so that it didn't drip too much and then I started the name, so this is going to say Fort the T's right here. So the process that I'm going through is I'm coloring out the letters with a small set of markers. 
and then I'm cutting them out and then I'm gluing them on. Although with the O, I tried to um, tape it on, although that didn't work very well, so I'm just going back to gluing. And then I'm going to do the T here, and then this E, I actually made on accident, but whatever, it, um, Ma Meg has an E, so I'll just use that for that, and then I have to make an M and a G, and some random color, and then it'll say Fort Meg, so let's go ahead and get that finished. And there's the name all finished, so you can see Fort, and then it says Meg right here. Now, I know that the name doesn't really matter, um, it's more amusing to me than it is to Meg, and then, uh, one more thing that I did that I didn't mention, um, uh, last clip is that I was going to do this. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I noticed this little zip from the pump that was in here. So I taped a piece of paper on the inside and made it a little sort of red spot if the camera focuses on it. Well, it's not going to focus, but you can see that it's red right there in that little tear. So when you put that little piece on, it shows up red. But anyway, there is Fort Mag, just a plat a cardboard box spray painted black and then have some letters put on and a little bit of weird red detailing and then on the inside I just put a little blanket in here that Meg um, likes to sleep on every now and then and then uh, yeah so there's Fort Meg but if you guys like Fort Meg or if you like the video